Hello, in this video we are going to cover scene creation. We have our splash scene, which is essentially that sort of state, that screen that you see in a game initially, which shows the company's logo or like an indie developer's logo, and then after a couple of seconds, it usually goes to some sort of menu system. So the three scenes we're gonna have is splash scene, which we already have created, a main menu scene, which after a few seconds, splash scene will go to after that, you'll be able to click a button on the main menu scene to go to the game scene. There's not going to be any pause scene or game over scene. You can go down that route of creating scenes for game over and pause. That's, that's fine. I've done that in games myself. But what we're going to be doing is having states within our game scene. So it's going to be like a playing state, a paused state, a game over state. So if the state is paused, you obviously can't place a note or a cross on the grid there's a lot of other stuff you can't do but some sort of menu will appear to actually show you the pause buttons and the fact that it is paused so the first thing we're going to do what i always do to save time because a lot of the time the scenes are very similar bar the changing of the name of the class i go to the folder where my one of my scenes is I duplicate the header and the CPP. If I do that twice, now I can just rename it to main menu scene. Main menu scene.cpp. And if I do the same for this, so game scene and game scene. If you go back to Xcode or Visual Studio Web app, you just gotta make sure you're files are included so i'm just going to do that now by selecting my four files and just add them like so if you're in xcode you just want to make sure you add it to the appropriate targets create groups finish and now let's go to our main menu scene and we're going to rename this to main menu scene i'll copy and paste this in, instead of actually writing it out again paste it here Go to the CPP and we can paste it here, here, here. We can get rid of the sign in because we no longer need that. And it is giving us errors because we haven't included the right file from main menu scene.h and these errors should now disappear. There we go. Let's do the same for game scene. So let's replace this with game scene, a screener scene. Let's copy and paste that here, 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 here. Let's get rid of the sign in and now just replace this with the game scene header. And we're actually going to run it. You shouldn't see any difference between the previous video, which was the project setup, and this one because we haven't linked the scenes, we haven't added any images or any sort of game logic. But it's always good to make sure the build is succeeding so we can proceed without any errors so this is just running it now it shouldn't take a moment or two okay there we go And this is obviously our splash scene, which is trying to log into Game Center. Let me cancel that. What I'm also going to show you, if I go to the project right here, and if I go to info, what we want to do, because we have icon files, but what we actually want to do is get rid of the default splash scene, which is right here launch images source and migrate migrate app icons i'm happy with that so if i go to the images so now let's get rid of these default images so we want to remove this remove this you can add images if you want to, but we're essentially gonna have a custom splash scene. So let's just rerun this, make sure that we're not getting that Cocos 2DX 
splash screen you might be wondering why do we want a custom one when we can essentially just drag and drop images so it's still appeared so let's go to the product let's clean it now I'm going to rerun it I'm actually going to edit this bit out so you don't have to wait for it to fully compile. Now that has successfully built. The last thing we're going to do for the launch screen file is just change this to main view controller. Oh, I already had it in clipboard, but it doesn't matter if I click enter. If I rerun this now, if I go to my simulator. As you can see, there is no Cocos 2DS launch screen. It goes to the splash scene just the way we wanted to. It tries to sign in. I haven't signed in yet. I will do that very, very soon. And that is it for scene creation. We have all of our scenes created. In the next video, we're going to be covering implementing the splash scene. So stay tuned for that video. If you want to check out the source code, feel free. There will be a link available to the GitHub page. If you have any questions, Feel free to post them on my education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.